Hello, welcome back to part 4. Earlier we learned how to cover the pillars, AD, tenant creation, and directory creation, and certificate creation in PFX with a private key. And I put a powerful for us there. Unless we continue with this, next we know we, we, we go to uh, Azure AD, we enable the LDAP for ADDS, navigate to the classic portal, Azure AD, plan, select the tenant where you want to spin it, and then click next. Then enable the domain services with secure LDAP and configure the certificate. Click on the configure certificate, browse to the certificate, upload it with the password you've chosen earlier, the earlier step, and click uh, basically OK. Next, basically, uh, it will be pending for validation. Uh, during this period, the LDAPs will be uh, trying to verify. It might take up to 15 minutes to verify the managed domain. And then, assuming everything is going fine, you will see secure LDAP certificate is uh, displaying the thumbprint. Make sure it's the same thumbprint you know uh, you've used earlier. If you want to use over the internet, you can say yes. Otherwise, you leave it no. And then we move on to creating the organization in this domain surface. It's simple as that. What we can do here, uh, create an AADOU to be used for Hadoops only domain services. You can create domain manage uh, AD via PowerShell. And then you can use the VNet, join the machine, and install the admin tools on these machines. And then that will be the primary. And then uh, you can provision a VM similar to the old days, new virtual machine, gallery, browse to it, or create it. 2012, 16, or 19, you know, and then you can provision the VM or you can use your own image. Assuming from Microsoft, this is the old portal, the classic portal, you have the new portal, uh, just browse to it, select the OS, define the information, the port required like RDP, make sure you got secured, source target with NSG, and then unite to join the domain, log on as a local admin, and basically domain services, local, and the click workshop, join the domain, give it a name, change the domain you created already, the cloud, give it name, domain you and then admin and then restart it assuming please make sure the name of the machine is correct as well and then you move to the local admin groups and you add the domain administrator to the group as well just to make sure it can manage the machine then you can do the installation of the admin tools sorry i'm, I'm going through these i assume you know how to use windows yeah if not uh, you just look at these as well yeah add remove features and then we will basically do the installation role based you know uh information and then select the roles aad domains and then certificate hyper uh, v management tools uh, admin tools and then you do the installation and then when it's finished you just need to reboot move on to the next we create an OU for using securing hadoop rdp to the server uh, with an admin account click server manager click tools admin tools and that will open for us the admin tools and then we create the OU navigate to the right hand side new new organization uh, unit and then after creating the org unit you can basically click on the ok and edit or just like if you're happy with the name that should be it and then the next part is basically reverse lookup for your dns make sure kerbos use of the reverse dns lookup you must create it within the dns zone use dns tool to create a dns lookup assuming you are the one who's doing this otherwise you need to work with the uh, team who look after DNS. Here we go. Install the server tool VM. I assume you are familiar how to manage install VMs, sorry DNS on the VMs or AD. But I'm just giving you some screenshot to show you what is it. Similar to the previous one, add roles and features. This time next role again. Next DNS file storage surface installed. DNS tool. Next restart, reboot. Log on again, move uh, to the admin tool, DNS, create a DNS, will uh, prompt you to create a DNS name for your domain. You add the domain, sorry, I'm just moved too fast. And then you create it and you select to all DNS servers, store the credentials on the server itself, primary is domain. Next is IPv4, you give it the range you wanted, and then you can create the reverse lookup. You see here, specify the network ID from the ARM VNet where the HDI cluster will be deployed. Allow the secure domain update automatically, dynamically, and then create the zone. Yeah? When you create the zone, it will look something like this. Assuming you are familiar with DNS, yeah? 
here we go uh, this is the DNS reverse uh, lookup uh, next what we will do we have the DNS we have the certificate next we create the ARM VNet same principle secure Hadoop cluster require ARM VNet create a VNet again networking virtual network through the browser portal or you can do uh, through the GUI I'm just going to go through this quickly create an ARM VNet specify the CIDR and then create it and then uh, uh, the, the DNS settings allow you to cluster to communicate it, that will be deployed automatically then you move on to connect the ARM and the classic VNet this is like a peering in order for the enterprise hardware cluster to communicate with AADS classic the ARM VNet have to be connected now there are two ways to do that one either uh, approaches connect the VNet using VPN or using uh, peering peering is much simpler than the basically the uh, as we call it VPN now I'm not going to cover that one now let's recover this in the next session that's all what I had for you for today thank you for watching and goodbye for now